Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing great today. Let me just tell you, I have got an absolute whopper of a story today. I, I'm telling you, this is not the story I wanted to do uh, this week, but this came across my desk and I'm just putting the pieces together. I'm telling you, it is, it, it is absolutely, oh my gosh, one of the craziest things that, that I've come across. Here it is. So. Hopefully, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you probably subscribe to Netflix, as do I. And I love movies. That's just who I am. That's what I do at, at work here. I uh, do a lot of video production. And one of the movies that I have just recently seen is Leave the World Behind with uh, Julia Roberts and uh, Ethan Hawke, I think it is. Anyway, you've got to go see this movie because I'm telling you, this is absolute predictive programming. I mean, they are projecting, these globalists are absolutely projecting uh, what they are about to do. And I believe it's going to be probably centralized on the United States, but it could be, be global. Now, some of the things that I, I'm just going to highlight here, I'm not going to give you the spoilers of what the movie is about. You got to go see the movie. I'm, I'm telling you, just watch the movie because it's a real eye opener. I mean, I remember watching this. I'm like, Oh, they're just showing us what they're going to do. Here it is. Some of the things they they talk or they touch on here is a reliance on electronics and technology or too much of a reliance on technology. They touch on the evil global cabal. I mean, they're just throwing it right in your face, people. Another thing they even talk about is the self-driving Tesla cars. They're used to turn on the public. And this is something we've kind of covered on the, uh, the the electric cars and what are the implications of this. And here's kind of the, the crux of it at the end of this is that the loss of normalcy leads to self-destruction or a civil war. I mean, that's the whole plan. And of course, what's happening here is they're trying to basically point the fingers at, oh, it's China. Oh, it's Korea. You know, you, you don't know who your enemy is. And so therefore... Uh, everything basically implodes. Now, that is the premise of the whole entire movie. I, I highly recommend all of you to go, go watch this, put the time into it. Um, now, what's very, very interesting about this, and I don't know if anybody caught this, at the beginning of 2023, one of the uh, World Economic Forum goons, and we'll call him that, he basically came out and said, by 2025, we will have some sort of cyber attack, a global cyber attack will happen. So that goes to show you 2024 is gonna be a very interesting year. In fact, uh, Whitney Webb was just on Redacted the other day talking about this and basically exposed it and said, yeah, they're gonna come out and do this and this is what the plan is. And I highly recommend uh, going and watching the, the Redacted video. The link's gonna be in the description for this so you can go see it for yourself. But why all of this is so interesting, I just found this out yesterday. If you can believe it, uh, Barack and Michelle Obama were basically the two behind the movie. Can you believe this? Folks, this is unreal. They're basically, uh, I don't know what you think about them, but I do not hold them in regard at all. And I'm telling you, so an article that I found talks about uh, the behind the scenes of what their involvement is. Check this out. Both the former president and first lady of the United States, Barack and Michelle Obama, big Mike, played major roles in Netflix's Leave the World Behind. Major roles. In 2022, the production company Higher Ground, founded by the pair, signed on to the thrilling project. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Barack Obama was especially invested in the film, providing valuable and detailed notes on the script. Leave the World Behind's director, Sam Esmail, revealed that he would ask the former president for advice when penning the original drafts as it helped him root the story in reality. Here it is. Although the piece of work is fiction, Esmail's goal was to keep it as lifelike as possible, and Barack Obama helped him achieve that. I wonder how. Folks, they're not hiding anything anymore. It is so in your face, and you don't have to look hard, really. So, folks, it's getting crazy. I guarantee you, 2024, look, if we are not raptured out of here soon, just 
press into God, prepare yourself for nuttiness like this, because really, they're going to try and get everybody to turn on each other. It's already kind of happening. We saw this even happen during COVID. So all I can say is buckle up and cling to God because that's really your only hope. And folks, that is my word of the day. In fact, you know what? Maybe the title actually got it right. Leave the world behind. How biblical is that where Jesus was saying, hold fast to this world and leave it all behind? That's probably... Uh, some of the best words that uh, Bible has to offer. Do not cling to this world. Folks, that's it. I, I really appreciate you tuning into this channel. If you like this video, please click the like button. That helps the algorithm. If you think I'm worth it, even better, please subscribe to this channel. Folks, and that's it. I really hope to see you all next time.